Hi guys, welcome to beer time. Old Kylie here, let's do some day drinking. So, sometimes you need a beer. I know what you're thinking. This is day drinking. I always need a beer. I know you always need a beer, too. This is all great. We agree. But this morning, I had a very difficult time getting a four-year-old up and out of the house. It only took about an hour, hour and change. That was screaming and crying the whole time. Neither here nor there. But to be honest with you, it's about 10 o'clock. My nerves are frayed. I've got some work to do around the studio today. Some light stuff. You know what we're going to do? We're going to start off the day right. What I've got for us to try today, and by try I mean completely drink all the way down to the bottom. Um, this is Prairie Artisan Ales. Uh, their bomb series. This is their birthday bomb. Uh, it's got very interesting artwork on it, I'll say that. It is jovial, um, trite in some ways, and very silly. I'll put up a, a picture of it. Um, it looks like uh, a cake exploded all over a bunch of Adventure Time people uh, on Cartoon Network. It's very silly. It's fun stuff, but, you know. But here's the thing about Prairie Artisan Ales. Uh, it's brewed by... Kebs Brewing out of Krebs, Oklahoma. That is, is, to my understanding, not very far from Tulsa. If you've ever had anything from uh, Prairie Artisan Ales uh, made by Krebs, man, it's really good stuff. And it's shockingly good considering the location. I know I'm not throwing Tulsa under the bus. I'm from Joplin, Missouri personally, so it's not that far away. I know what I'm talking about. Long story short, I'm looking forward to this. And you know what this is? This is a big beer. This is 13%. I'm imagining pouring this. And I've never had this. I've never I've had Prairie Bomb, but I've not had this birthday bomb before. So we'll see what it what's going on here. Oh my gosh, that is just thick and rich. I mean, like motor oil. No kidding. No joke. Um, so what we've got here is Imperial Stout, definitely Imperial. Aged on coffee, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. So it's got the whole, the whole uh, grocery store in there. It smells fantastic. It smells like bitter coffee, Hershey's syrup, and smoked peppers. And I don't smell as much vanilla bean in it, but I do get kind of grandma spice drawer, if that makes sense. It's got like all the baking spices in there, right? It's got like cinnamon and nutmeg and all that stuff on the nose. But let's drink it just because we're going to drink it. Oh, man. So this is kind of the same animal as, Bur as, as prairie Artisan Ales bomb, but there's something else in here. There's a, a maple component to this or a uh, caramel component to this. It's a little sweeter than that, but you kind of expect that it's going to have a pretty sweet core running at 13% alcohol um, by volume. It's just fantastic. This is a, it is a big beer. It is a great beer. This is the end of the day beer. Or if your morning has been turned upside down and everything that you understand to be true is now gone, then this is also perfect. You know, end of day stuff, scorched earth, that kind of thing. Ooh. I got to tell you, that's good. And as it warms up in the glass, that, that Hershey syrup kind of seeps up from the bottom into your nostrils, onto your tongue in different places. And why it's doing that, notes of coffee, the, the, the bitterness of Cafe Americano are kind of coming in there. 
but there's still this this caramel thing, and and it's a good caramel thing, not like somebody dumped a and it, like it's a good thing, like you know, there's a bunch of Carmelos in here, right? Mm. Yeah, that's good, man. That's really good stuff. I don't know that this is as mouthfeel wise is as thick. I mean, it sure is rich, but I don't know that it's as as thick of a mouthful, mouthfeel as as the Prairie Bomb. No matter. If you're lucky enough to get one of these, you will absolutely love it if you like Imperial Stout. It really delivers. The peppers on this is more in the nose, less on the mouth. The traditional Prairie Artisan Ale Balm has more defined pepper notes on the aftertaste. But it's still all in here. Man, that's a great beer. I'll get more of that if I can. But it's probably their birthday ale, so probably sayonara. Um, I love this. And, you know, I think that everybody needs to keep a couple of beers around that are kind of that nuclear grade. I've had a day. I need something. It's not like it's special occasion. It's like you're keeping your sanity, right? You know what I mean? And I think that that's important. I think that you need something sometimes that's not about like, yay, I just got a promotion. It's more like, yay, I just survived a horrible car accident and I need to chill out a little bit. I like that. Because life's tough, you know? Life's difficult. I mean, it's fun, but it's also terribly difficult. A slog, if you will. But we fight back. We fight back with courage, conviction, and strong ales. This is good. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. This is therapeutic for both of us, I'm sure. This is the Birthday Bomb by Prairie Artisan Ales. Funky stuff. I'll take a picture of it. You're probably getting nothing here. Hi. How you doing? My name's Kyle. Nice to meet you. And uh, I'm going to get out of your hair. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you can get out and do some day drinking, as usual. And I'll uh, check you on the flip side. See you guys.